Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to build a simple HP bar for your for every character in your game. Basically, this tutorial will teach you how to build a HP bar prefect which you can drop it to every character in your game. You build once and that's it. So as you can see I have a wolf sprite over here. It contains the sprite renderer and also polygon collider 2D with trigger setup, rigid body 2D body type kinematic and also a script so what is the script about that the script basically we i can control move it the move the sprite top and bottom left and right with my keyboard arrow and also a callback function on trigger and the 2d which will lock a message when the wolf is under the damage area or otherwise it's a heal error so Let's take a look. As you can see, the damage area will represent by the rig block, and also the heal area will be represented by a green block. Let me try. This basically is for testing purpose. Now, when I enter a heal, green area it will heal, heal, and also the damage is over here. So, now what we need to do is build a HP bar for this character. So, firstly, I have, yeah, I have prepared a pixel. A one by one white pixel. Uh, you can get it anywhere, or draw it yourself. So I create a new empty game object. So I will call this HP bar. Then uh, make sure the position everything is legal. Then we, I create a new object. Also, we call it bar. Then we are add a sprite render for it. Then which will pick the white pixel okay cool so now we have no make sure your pixel is uh, any pixel per unit based on your game so I'm using one for now and make sure your pivot is set to left uh, later I will explain so as you can see now let's use a 0 0.1 as it now it's more looks like a bar then yeah cool so now we create a background for the HP bar, create another empty game object. So this will basically call a background. Then we add a same sprite render to it. It will also be a white color one, also using a white pixel sprite. Then uh, this will be a little bigger than the usual 0 0.1, no 0 0.2. Uh, Make sure my order to bar is set to 100 and also a background set to 99. Okay, cool. So let me just make sure to send the maybe G negative one time. Cool. Now, as you can see, we have a simple bar set already. So just now we set the pivot to the left is because we want to control the HP bar amount by setting the scale. As you can see, when it's set to 0, it will be empty. Set to 1, it will be fully healed. So we will control the scale by moving control the HP bar by moving the scale value of X um, so now let me check what we have has HP bar bar yeah cool okay so now we are ready to implement our script firstly go to our script folder we create a new script called HP character we we are create an abstract class for this character script uh, to be used by all character in your game. Uh, uh, let me increase the font size first. Uh, Visual text editor font to 16. Yeah, then it will be bigger. Okay, cool. Now it's fine now. So firstly, we need to have a. Uh, we need to make this to an abstract class. Abstract class. Cool. Then now we need a few fields. The first field we need is. The sprite render which will take the sprite of the HP bar. We call this um, HP sprite maybe. Then followed by another field. Uh, HP default uh, default HP of a character and one more is current HP of the character. Then also the to control the skill of the bar we need the transform of the hp bar cool then 
the following will be the animation part. Uh, this is for the animation. Animation field. Uh, so color. We will using a low color. Usually a color for low will be a red, right? Then followed by a full color. Then this will be a green, right? Then we need a animation speed. How fast the HP drop? We set it to zero point three for now. Then, uh, and another core routine, which to check whether the routine has been started. The anime animation routine has been started. Now we have all the fill ready. But let's set up some method to trick to update our HP bar. So the first method we need is, of course, we need a set HP method, which will take a HP value, which will public function. Uh, we need to check whether the HP is the minimum must be zero, cannot be less than zero, right? HP cannot be negative. Uh, let me remove. Uh, the max value will be the default. It not cannot be greater than the max HP. So if HP, if the current HP is not equal to the target HP, then we only do something. So we also check if the routine not equal to not means there is some animation routine has been started. Then we stop the core routine. Finally, we can set the HP to current HP. This dot HP is actually a current HP. Yeah, cool. Actually, I, let me rename this target HP. It'll be better. So you'll be understand. Yeah, this is much better. So now we need to call the set HP animation. Uh, we will need to create a coroutine. We call this HG animate routine. We shall take a ratio. Uh, the ratio I will explain what is the value. Basically, the ratio will be actually is a scale value of the HP bar. So basically, it shall take the HP bar dot local scale dot x. We need to check whether the HP is here. Let me fix the error first. Okay. We need to check whether the HP is increased or reduced. So we how to check is like we need to use we check whether the current ratio is equal to target ratio. So this will be target ratio. So if current ratio means current value is greater than it will be if we are trying to reduce it. So the difference will be we are using an absolute function, make sure the difference is positive. No matter which way which way we minus will do also. So now we need to create a time view equal to zero, then while time less than animation speed. So we are creep increasing. Uh, we'll get the percentage first. How much we should update the HP bar? Then we'll increase the time by current frame. So the amount will be the target amount will be if it is reducing, then we will use the current ratio minus the different. Multiply by a percentage, how much we should reduce at the at current frame. So, if it is increasing, basically it is actually is the same thing. Just we are adding it. That's it. Actually, it is a short shorthand for the uh, if else function. So now we need to set the bar, update the bar amount. So we create a new function we call set bar amount float amount will do amount equal to max claim 
to make sure the amount is the scale value cannot be less than zero and greater than one then we set the hbr local scale equal to new vector two uh, two will do uh, the x will take an amount the y will retain the same value and also we change the sprite color we are using a lut function and let it between the low color and full color based on the amount so yeah, here then we can set call the set bar amount function by passing the amount inside and for you for the wall function we need to return now for each frame cool now we need to yeah i think that's it for now then let me check if i miss something cool let me try to create a few more methods which will easy for us to manage the integer amount so this will be called the set hp function this dot dot hp the current hp or minus my amount then we create another function called heal then same will take the amount set hp this dot hp plus amount yep i think that's it for now let's see i missed something yeah we need to initialize the hp also so by setting a default so we need to because this is an abstract class we need to make sure every character who implement this abstract class need to call the start method of this so we need to make this start method to be overrided by the character class so we make this to protect virtual void to be overrided is that spell wrong yeah cool okay cool Okay, then we will get the HP bar because we never initialize this. So we will get, uh, we'll get from the HP sprite, bucket component, mm, transform. Then we will initialize the current HP equal to default HP. Then also, yeah, we need to set the color First, uh, maybe we create another method called reset. Then this reset will do. Will reset the HP back to HP default. Actually, uh, we sh this is not needed since we're calling a reset over here. So then we call the bar amount if we want. Yeah. Then we just call reset. So now. The update is not needed so now i think we have our abstract class lady it can implement by the wolf script so let's go to it let's try to implement hp character then now we have a uh, warning over here that we need to override it so we are try to override it then we are call please stop start method this will trigger the I mean the abstract class start method so now we can replace the warning message to maybe uh, this is damage right damage maybe 20 then we can replace this to heal also we can replace this to heal also then now I think we are ready to test let me go to check it click play Hey, 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 we need to drop the script definitely uh, okay now we have hash bar we have a prefect ready let me drop back to our prefect then we can move this into our wolf script what you need to do is drop the hash bar into under your wolf character then we need to reference back uh, let me set the default to 100 hp and also reference the bar sprite No working. Okay. Let me check clear the error and let me check the script. Uh, yeah, I think after we set the hash view, I forget to start the core routine. So to start the core routine, we need to set the hash view routine. Then we call the start core routine. So this will take a ratio. Now we need to calculate a ratio. 
the how we get the ratio is like uh, we divide the current HP it's not current yeah it's current HP it's like the result HP uh, yeah cool current HP with the max HP the default HP uh, max HP this dot HP default then let me check the ratio what is the area over here? Oh, sorry. Wrong bracket. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. Let me try again. See if it is working. Uh, seems like not. Okay. Let me check. Uh, let me clean it a bit. Seems this is not needed the default the list. Oh I saw it. Okay. This should be claiming a target but not the current HP. Okay cool. Uh, HP will do. Okay cool. Let me try again. Uh, yep, as you can see, when I enter red error the HP is reduced and I try to enter green error, then it will increase the HP. But now how can we tell the character is that? So we need to create another function. We need to create an abstract function so we can control what will we do when the character is set. So we call this trigger when dead, then it will implement by the let me try to auto implement the abstract class. Yeah. So we just throw a warning over here. So that that's it. Then you can do, do whatever you want over this function when your character is there. So for now, I just uh, testing for purpose. Let me try to. It. Hey, it's not trigger. Uh, because let me check because we have not implemented checking yet. So we need to check over here if HP less than or greater than zero. Then we trigger a function. Uh, we call trigger when that then. Uh, Make sure we also set the bar to zero. Yeah, cool. Now it should work. Mm, it should work. Cool. Now, as you can see, uh, yeah, is that the this trigger? So let me show you another test case how you can trigger the HP. But uh, let me create another button. We'll call this either uh, whatever the button will call just try to trigger something how you can use it so we create a new script for the button uh, test button script do and then let's say when the button is clicked then we try to get the wolf character find the object type wolf then we can just call damage will do um, how many damage you want ready then this will trigger a damage to a wolf when the button is clicked let me try to assign to the last button uh, let me show you how it looks like okay. yeah basically when you click a button you will drop 30 hp yeah similar to when you enter the area this is how you can call the function so basically, what you need to do for now is you just drop the HP bar prefrag to your character and also rep make sure your character script is implement the HP character classes. Then what you need to do is put the reference or the bar to your HP character and you can set a maximum HP or the default HP over here. So basically, you can control the size of the bar maybe you want to increase the skill to larger bigger and also more position for your character anywhere you want so the bar will always follow the character so yep that's it for this tutorial if this tutorial helps you please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel see you in the next video